What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, let's see. This guy trades, uh, will trade you for a Love Disc, or a Love Disc for a Steelix. That is a Steel, and you do have a, you, ha you do have an old rod that can capture a, uh, a, a Love Disc real easily. Now, here we are in Silage City, and I was waiting on this one. I was waiting for, I, I was waiting to do this for the following episode, but I, I kind of feel as though that we we kind of need to do this right now. So, here we are in Route 10. We're gonna grab this. And if you go into this particular area, guys, you will find quite a few Pokemon that you might find interesting. A lot of Eevees. You know, uh, Snubble. And, uh, let's see. Electrikes. Electrikes are always good. It's actually the first time I've seen an Electrike right here. And, uh, well, if you guys are thinking about it, no, I am not trying to capture an Electrike. But there are different Pokemon that you can find in this particular area that will make your team a little bit stronger. So, let's see. I'm going to try and capture this Electrike just, just for the heck of it, all right? I'm going to try and capture it, and then uh, I'm going to go straight to the Pokemon that I want to capture because, well... It's gonna be a fun one right here. So let's go straight again with a mud slap. And yeah, this this Pokemon is uh yeah, it, it's 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 not gonna hit me not one time. And uh well since we got to Silage City, we actually bought ourselves a, a few a few good Pokeballs, so everything will be fine. There we go. Pokeball, Ultra Ball, go. And there it is, and Look at that, we cat we caught ourselves Electrike. Now I think in Pokemon Y I didn't capture one, so we're gonna have to get back to that as soon as possible. And Nova grows to level 20. And Well, Jordan grows to level 22 and is learning a new move. Takedown. And uh Huh. It's not much of a special attacker, so let's go ahead and take away growth for just right now. And there we go. And, well, we are adding Electrike to the database right here. And look at this. Electrike, the lightning Pokemon, a pure electric-type Pokemon right here. It stores static electricity in its fur for discharging. It gives off sparks if a storm approaches. And as many of you guys already know, we bequeathed the name Raiden for this Pokemon because, well, very first Pokemon uh, Emerald walkthrough. Kind of, kind of in, like, in the zone with Mortal Kombat, so... Yeah. Anywho, we're going to go to, or we're going to skip to the Pokemon we want to capture. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here is the Pokemon we were looking after. It is Howlucha. This Pokemon right here is a very, very good Pokemon. It is a combination of both flying and fighting. And this is exactly what we need on our team because, well, it, it becomes a tank. It becomes powerful. That, and it just reminds me of a Lucha Libre star, Nacho Libre. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and go with a Slash Attack. Hopefully this one uh, won't make it faint, but there it is. We are in one, and, well, we like to personalize everything. Let's go with a Nest Ball, and hopefully this will actually capture this Pokemon, because it's not too far down on the levels and all that stuff. So, here we go. There's one. There's two. Come on. Three. And there you go. Look at that. We cut ourselves Halucha. Okay, so look at this. Look at that. We are growing levels. Captured a few Pokemon here and there. And here is the next Pokemon addition to our team. Halucha, the fighting flying Pokemon. It is the wrestling Pokemon. With its wings, it controls its position in the air. It likes to attack from above, a maneuver that is difficult to defend against. And yes, we are going to be nicknaming this Pokemon after a pretty cool movie, very funny movie. Shout out to Jack Black. Here we go. We will name you Nacho. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Nacho. We did replace Poping for it because, well, I do love the fighting flying type capability. Now, it does have limber. It does protect this Pokemon from para paralysis. Ugh, can't speak properly. And, well, it does have wing attack, roost, 
Aerial Ace, and Encore, but eventually it learns some pretty good moves right here. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, what else can we do? I think we do have a fighting type move here somewhere, so let's see. Let's go ahead and organize this by a number. And we have Rock Smash. So Rock Smash is a fighting type move, and I should probably teach it to Nacho just for the just for the heck of it. So here we go. Okay, what, what am I doing? Okay. Rock Smash. Let's give it to Nacho for the time being. And... Well, let's see what happens. Okay, Rock Smash. What move should it have forgotten? And it's going to be forgetting Encore because, yeah, we don't really need Encore right here. And there you go. So Nacho has a fighting type move. And... Swords Dance. Okay, so... I'm going to use Swords Dance right here because it is a physical attacker. And chances are we're going to be running into some stuff going into the gym battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and take away its Roost attack for the time being. And there you go. And there you go. And uh, let's see. Is there any other moves that it can learn? Protect is a good one. Home Claws is another one. So, we're just going to leave it at that. And... Well, we're going to be taking a, a quick tour of uh, Silage City. So as you guys can see, Silage City is just a, it's a pretty random place. And well, this lady's going to be like, why, hello there. Would you like me to uh, massage your Helioptile? Not right now, because it is not a Pokemon that you need through, uh, need, well, it does. it's not a Pokemon that evolves through happiness or anything like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. This place is home to the cycling, um, or the, the bicycle shop. If you go right here, this guy's gonna be like, Oh, 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 welcome, welcome! Come right this way! Okay. What time you have, you have, young man? Did you know that you are our 1,000 or 10,000 and first customer since we show up in shop? Yes, lucky you! You are number 10,001. If you would have been 10,000, then you would have gotten a bicycle for free. But as a runner-up, you could still get the chance to win a bicycle by answering a quiz correctly. If you're ready, here we go. Your or your question is, do bicycles come in more than one color? Yes. And bing, bing, bing. You are correct. I'm sure someone like you would will love having one of our bicycles. Which color will you go for, yellow or green? I am definitely going with the yellow one right here because, well, I think in the other version, I went for green, so... It's something right there. And, well, that's a bicycle that we've earned. So we can move a little bit. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we can definitely move quicker on this one. So here we are. Register that. We're going to register you too and that too. So, yes, we are. Yes, we are finally registered and everything. And uh, let's see. I wonder what this place is all about. Talk to him and a global trade station, the GTS. With it, you can uh, use the internet connection to trade Pokemon with trainers all around the world. That is true. And okay, so yeah, the GTS system, I, I believe it was started right in Pokemon right, White and Black, and uh, it's actually helped us out, especially for those who don't have an extra uh, an extra Nintendo uh, DS and everything. I remember as a kid, as a kid, I would just like you know. I would struggle to just complete my Pokedex because I didn't have an extra Game Boy. It wasn't until I was older that, you know, we got that. And, well, we're going to go here and see what she's all about. Would you like us to take a simple quiz? Sure. So here's the question. Which of the following berries cures confusion? I believe it's an Aspier berry? No. Okay, so let's try this again. I think it was the person berry. There you go. And Swagger... Okay, so the move Swagger raises it to targets attack, but it also causes which status condition, and it is confusion. There you go. And here we are. We're getting ourselves person berries, and yes, that is true. She's telling us a strategy that if you have a Pokemon with Swagger, use it on your own Pokemon, and then that Pokemon is equipped with a uh, with a person berry. It would actually help you out. So you're talking to this uh, this chick right here. The Kalos region is so big, it has three different Pokedexes. I wonder how many uh, Pokemon are there. And, well, there's not really a lot in a sense of Kalos Pokemon. But then we're going to be talking to this person, and she's going to be like, Pokemon are good at so some things, and humans are good at other things. If we come together and combine our strengths, we can achieve great things. True. Very, very true. 
Okay, so let's see. We have another hotel, and I think we can get ourselves a free item here somewhere. And Professor Rowan, yeah, he's talking about Professor Rowan right there. Talk to this person. Here we get ourselves the TM44 rest. This will fully recover your HP and clear you of uh, status conditions. Now, TM88 is sleep talk. It's basically uh, a move that opens up one of the other moves. And uh, let's see, Holocaster was developed at the Lissandre guy's laboratory, right? Yes, it was. Okay. So let's go right here and talk to this lady. And she's like, hiya, and welcome. Oh, this is perfect. Would you like to take this? I got this from a guest. Here we get ourselves a destiny knot. And well, let's see. If we talk to this person, let's see. Where are you? Where the heck are you? Come on, stop. The Kalos region is nice and all, but you should really check out my region. We have this town that you wouldn't believe. Ah, oh, never mind. You'll never see it in due time. You can try me, but you can tell me what it is. You're just not being specific. And look at this. We're going to find the O Powers Mr. Bonding Guy. And, of course, we don't need an explanation of, of what the O Powers is. And here we are going to be uh, getting the prize money power level 1. So I'm assuming... If there was anything that I'm going to be using, it's the prize money power because we do need a little bit more money to buy different things. And, uh, hmm. So, let's see. The way you can go with these O powers is if you go click the bottom part right here, go straight to the O powers option, and you click on the prize money one. So, as you guys can see, increases prize money from battles a little. The effect lasts three minutes. When used on self four times when given to others, it... Oh, wow. And then I believe there's a limit on that. Yeah, there is a... Yeah, there is a time limit on that. You can share. You can do different things. And it will increase its power. So we're not going to be doing that anytime. And... Well, let's see. Let's go down right here. And... I think there's another house. Yes, this is actually a a cafe, so we're not gonna be going there. And here's where you can buy some more clothes, which of course we're not gonna be buying clothes anytime because, yeah, we're we we, we kind of want to save the money and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and use our bike here to get up this uh this place. Now, as you guys can see, this individual is gonna be like, "Oh dear, if you're here uh for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late." The race is over, and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you this uh, it's the Strength HM as a consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to move and push rocks around. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves the HM04 Strength. And he's telling us, However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll, need, you'll first need a badge from the gym I, I run in this city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Come challenge me at your own leisure. Okay. Alrighty. So, the gym is right here. But we still got a few things to take care of, like grabbing some free items and all that crud. Here, we're getting ourselves a X defense. And go right here. You're going to find yourself an ether, which will actually help us out, too. And, well, we're going to be going back up to... Yeah, we're going to be going back up right here. And before we go straight to the gym, you guys got to see this. There is another Pokeball. And there is the extra area of the connecting cave, I believe. That's what it was called. Is it? Yes, the connecting cave where the Zubat roost. And you will be able to see where or what it, what it looks like on the other side. Now, I'm going to be using a, f a Super Repel because I... Don't want to get attacked by a Pokemon right now. So we need strength to grab that that a, that TM right there. And then we're going to need strength for this one. So like our boy said, we if we don't have if we don't have the gym badge from the Silage City, we won't be able to move anything. So that is coming up right around. Well, right up next. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves an X special attack and well let's go straight to our bike 
And it is time. It is time. We're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Gym. And yes, we're going to be wearing out this, uh, this, this whole thing right here. So, what to expect in this gym? Very easy, guys. It is a rock type gym. Not the. It's not the most difficult one. It's going to be fun. But do expect a lot of defense, a lot of physicality. And since we have quite a few new Pokemon, do expect quite a few dual types. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch my Pokemon over to Nacho. I do have Jordan just in case for this situation. And here we have this guy. He's like, I need a break after all this climbing and training. Okay. Alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on Rising Star Didier. And we are going to be taking on that. A Dweeble, Dwebble. And here we have Nacho. Okay. Nacho. Let's go, let's go with a Rock Smash attack right here. And that won't do anything, but it will lower its defense. And here comes a Rock Blast. So this is something that we don't need at the moment because, well, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting hit by rocks. And we're getting the brunt of it. He's hitting us five times. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I think we can go to Blade. Let's see what the, let's see what kind of moves we have right here. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, let's go with Blade. Let's go with Blade. See what Blade can do. Love saying Blade. All right, so Blade, how's it going? And here we are getting hit by another Rock Blast attack. Chances are we're gonna get hit five times again. And no, that wasn't five times. There was one time I got hit five times. So let's go with the Swords Dance right here. And come on! Yeah, it, look, it, it looks like to me we're gonna have to like automize and stuff. So here we go. Increasing our stats just like that. And well, let's see. Auto my automize is another move that I, I am gonna be using because I am sick and tired of getting hit by this move. Oh my god. Okay. And well, here we go. Automize. We are increasing some very good moves, and we're gonna be going straight for. A shadow sneak attack now that we're faster and there you go and holy crud this book what the heck super effective okay let's go with the shadow sneak again because yes I don't want to get beat by a freaking uh, by a freaking uh, little uh, crab right here or shellfish and well Nacho gets some points, everybody gets some points, and here comes a Relicanth, so let's go straight to Jordan the Goat. Alrighty. So, in previous gener- or in previous walkthroughs, yes, we are, uh, we were a little bit more equipped with this, but I guess we're gonna have to work for it now, so here comes a Rock Tomb attack. Oh my god, okay, so our speed has been lowered, but here comes... A Razor Leaf attack nearly defeats Relicanth right here. So let's try this once more time. And yes, we're getting yawned at. Holy buckets. So here you go. Relicanth has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And well, that right there gives Blade a little bit more points. And Blade is now learning Aerial Ace. And this, this could be good. So we're going to take Pursuit away just for the time being. And, well, there we go. Blade learns Aerial Ace. Didier has been defeated. Yes, no pain, no gain. Let us move on to the next thing. Now, as you guys can see, this is a bit of rock climbing. Fun rock climbing right here. And, what if we go right here? There we go. We're going to be hiding. So, since we're hiding, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon just a little bit. So, let's go straight for a potion. And... Yeah, we got quite a few super potions right here. Okay, so... Let us move on to the next section of this gym. Looks like to me, yes, we're going to be struggling just a tad bit. Okay, so let's go. That's right. Climb it. And this one will lower... We'll go back down right here. Look at that. 
We're hiding. We're going down. Yes, we're very athletic, even in real life. Now, there is an individual right here hiding. So, what we're going to do is we're going to switch out Nacho for Jordan. Mainly because it's a pure grass type Pokemon, and this could work for us right here. Only those with the Noble Spirit can try to take on the challenge of the Silas City Pokemon Gym. Ah. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on a Soul Rock. Holy buckets. So if you guys didn't know, Soul Rock is capable of, of uh, using fire type moves. And it's also a psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, why try why try Pokemon are, don't exist is beyond me. But here we go. Razor Leaf does its thing. We got to hit it one more time just to beat this Pokemon. And here comes a Rock Throw. We avoid this. And there you go. Say goodbye to Rock... Or say goodbye to Soul Rock right there. And Jordan the Goat has... Yes. Has gained another level right there. Level 23, just like the Goat he is. And here comes a Lunatone. So we're just going to continue on right now. Straight with Goat Jordan and... Let's go. Razor Leaf attack. And that nearly defeats uh, or Lunatune, but here comes a Psy Wave attack. And thankfully, we are not confused. So let's go one more time. There you go. Razor Leaf for the win. And just like that, we get some more points. And Nova grows to level 21, Nacho to level 22. And sharp tooth to level 23. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are doing. Uh, we are doing big things. Now, we're not going to forget about Ubsy Tubsy right there. So let's go ahead and just follow him right here. Okay. Let's try and use Nacho yet again. And let's go. I'm ready to go. If you think you can uh, find my weakness in my defense, come at me. He's coming at me. Come at me, bro. Okay. So here we are taking on Hiker Craig. Coming out with a Rog and Rolla. And, well, let's see what happens right here. Rog and Rolla. Let's go with a Swords Dance just to make this Pokemon a little bit stronger. And, well, let's see what happens. Here comes Headbutt. Not so effective. All right, let's do it. Rock Smash attack. And that will nearly defeat this Pokemon, but it will lower its defense. And here comes a Smackdown. And wow, we put we go all the way down. So here we go. Rock Smash yet again. And there you go. Rock Smash for the win. Nacho gets some points. And we have defeated Craig with Nacho Libre. Alrighty. Okay. There's just one little issue. His defense his defense really sucks, so we're gonna have to take care of that. And well, let's see. Let's go with a super potion on both these Pokemon. And going with this guy. Alrighty. Let us continue. I think we are close to being finished right here, guys. So let's go ahead and move along. There you are. Oh yeah, we're going all the way up. Look at this. Back in like back when I was a kid, yes, I, I used to rock climb. It was easy, and then I used to do the hard ones, where the handles were a little bit harder to grab onto. I only managed to do it one time, and it is a hell of a workout with your hands too. You'll definitely feel it. And well, here we go, taking on another hiker. His name is Bernard, and yes, he is coming out with a Rhyhorn. So let's bring out Nacho. Okay, Nacho, let's do it. Swords Dance, and this one will sharpen his attack just a little bit. And here comes a Rock Tomb attack. Hopefully this won't lower our speed, and Crap Baskets, that was a hard hit. Okay, let's go, come on. Rock Smash, do its trick, and well, Rhyhorn, its defense is lowered, and here comes another Rock Tomb. Hopefully this won't defeat him, and yes, we survive. We survived by two. So, at least we know Nacho's resilient. Very resilient. And that right there gets him some points. And, well, he's coming out with a nose pass. This Pokemon is going to be difficult just 
by itself. So we're going to be switching it out to Goat Jordan. And, well, let's see what this Nose Pass can do. All right, Nose Pass. Time to go with the Razor Leaf attack. Now, Nose Pass is capable of learning electric type moves. It is capable of using Thunder Wave like it's using. That's, yeah, that's annoying right there. Alrighty, so here we go. Again, Razor Leaf, and here comes a Tackle. Oh my god, here we go. Razor Leaf does its trick, and there you go. And, well, look at that. Jordan grows to level 24, and Blade it grows to level 23. I wish it learned a, a Steel-type move. And who is going to go up against this Pokemon right here? You know what? Let's go ahead and take on Onyx as a paralyzed Pokemon right here. So, let's see if Leech Seed will actually help us out right here. So, we're going to take a hit. And there you go, Leech Seed. So, each time we get hit, we're going to get something back. Alrighty, okay. And we're getting a little bit of HP right there, 5 points. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Just, thankfully, we do have a Paralysis Heal. And there you go. Here comes a Bind, and we avoid that attack. And yes, we get a little bit more of its HP. And this one will almost fully heal us. So let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. And yes, we're going to get hit. So here goes Razor Leaf for the win. And just like that, Onyx has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And Bernard is not happy about this. Yes, we are a tricky one right here. Okay. So, let's climb up to the very top right here. And as you guys can see, the gym leader is waiting for us. Now, man, it has been tough. It has been tough with these new Pokemon that I have right here. And... I kind of feel as though that we need to... Yeah, I kind of feel like we need to stock up on some items right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And now it is time for us to take on the next gym leader right here. Here we have... Hugh, I think? Well, he's like, I've been waiting for, uh, in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. Oh yeah, he's like cracking everything. Here it is, guys. Gym battle number two against Grant. Okay, so I was close. I keep on forgetting all these gym leaders' names. So here we are, Leader Grant, and he is going to be coming out with some fossil Pokemon. This one right here is both rock and uh, ice type. So quadruple damage. There is just one downside to this Pokemon, and that is that it is capable of learning Thunder Wave. And look at that. Amara defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So that right there increases Star Fox's level, and Star Fox is now learning Light Screen. So we're going to take away Howl because it's not much of a physical attacker. Maybe it is, but it is whatever. But Light Screen's a lot better. And we're going to be taking on a Tyrant, so Nacho Libre is going to do its thing right here. So let's go with a Rock Smash attack right here. And hopefully that will lower its defense, and it doesn't. And here comes the Rock Tomb, and oh my god, our speed has fallen. So let's go, Rock Smash. Come on. Another one, and this one will lower its, its physical defense. So here comes another rock, uh, rock tomb, and that nearly defeats our Pokemon. Oh, crud baskets! Okay, we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take a hit right here. So let's go with a super potion. Nacho is going to get his HP back, and what are we gonna get right here? Okay, so. As you guys can see, we're, we both think the same thing. Let's go and hit it with another Rock Smash. We're going to get a bite right here. And here we go, Rock Smash. And this will lower its HP a little bit more. And now it is wide open to defeat it with one more Rock Smash. So here comes a Stomp Attack. 
And this one is in the books, guys. Nacho Libre has done it. We have defeated Tyrant. Yeah. Okay. And look at this. Nacho grows to level 23. And the rest of our team, yes, getting some points. Grant, he is not liking it. I do love his Teradu. How it's shaped as a cliff or something like that. There are some things that uh, seem out of reach, no matter how hard you try. However, it's important that you never give up, no matter the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Cliff Badge. What now? Okay, so the Cliff Badge right here. In your grass, you you should have no issues working together with a Pokemon up to level 40. This even applies to Pokemon that you've received from the other people in trade, and that is not all. You also get this. We get ourselves the Rock Tomb attack. And this move... With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rocks in, uh, at its targets, not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master of a wall climber and conquered this gym, it's time you thought about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, that's when you'll truly be, a, tr truly be able to smile. Well, I have defeated so many gyms in the long run. I am smiling every single time, so yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, homeboy. Okay. So, we're getting the heck out of here. Yes. We are victorious, guys. We have another badge. And, uh... Well, let's finish it off right here, guys. We do have... Okay, we do have the strength technique. And I do want to cover one little thing before we move on into the next route, which will be in the next episode. And that is going up to the connecting cave now let's see what the strength technique who can learn it and well I want to teach it to I want to teach it to Nacho but it looks like uh, Jordan's gonna need it because it does have a move with recoil strength would be a little bit better for for this situation so let's go right ahead and take away takedown and there we go. Alrighty. So, it now knows strength. And we can go inside the connecting cave, the second portion of it. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a repel. We don't want... We don't want to get attacked by anybody right here. So, let's get the heck off our bike because that will indeed take away some of the repel's uh, steps right there. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, boom. Press that. And... There you go, guys. Grabbing this. Found ourselves TM40 Aerial Ace. Very good move. I believe one of our Pokemon has it. And yes, I am taking another cough drop. I'm like downing these things like forever because this cough won't end. And well, let's press this right here. And just like that, she, yeah, I can't get out because uh, it's all my fault. And this guy right here is going to be like, you know what? Give this. This is TM21 Frustration. For a Pokemon that don't like you, this move will be very, very powerful. But if it starts liking you a little bit more, then, well, you're SOL. Now, here's another area where you can actually move this. And bam, a shortcut. And, yes, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon because we can. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's uh, use another Repel and get the heck out of here. There... There really isn't anything else that you can do except just move around here, find some a rare Pokemon here and there. And, uh, hmm. Let's see. What do we need to do? Yes, we're going to be using this. And going down, down, and, well, there is an item right here. There is an item that is uh, hidden right here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Here we found ourselves a Super Potion. And that right there is our episode. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going through a specific route, battling a few trainers here and there. And then uh, that's for us to just reach to the next town. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being sta staying patient, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.